Hi Libra, welcome back. So Libra, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles can be reversed. Um, and my readings are timeless, so I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So Libra, when I was doing the meditation for the overall Libra energy, I, I got an image of someone at bat, and I heard batter up. So I feel like, you know, it's certainly your turn at bat during this time frame. <laughs> and I, I felt like a sense of aggression almost. So like when the person in my mind's eye was going to swing, it was almost like I'm going to prove them wrong type of energy. So I feel like some aggression coming out uh, of the Libra energy. And certainly this could be someone you're dealing with, but I feel it's you. You know, like, um, I, you know, I heard I got bills to pay. I don't know what that's about. But, it, but it's just like, you know, I came here to play, you know, and um, I'm, I'm going to prove you wrong or um, it's my turn at bat. Like that type of energy, it's my turn, you know. So I feel like uh, spirits agreeing with you <laughs> that it is your turn. Sometimes aggression has... Um, a very suitable place in our lives because a lot of times aggression comes from feeling suppressed or controlled for too long of a period of time so whether it's life circumstances your job or relationships that you felt a sense of restriction or controlling type of energy or suppression in sometimes aggression comes in to break out of those types of connections those types of jobs those types of life circumstances so it serves a purpose Absolutely. So I feel like you're getting to this point, Libra, where it's like, you know, you're ready for your chance. You're ready to take that swing. And there's a bit of an anger behind it. But I feel it's necessary or like it's coming in to push you into the next chapter almost. Um, and I heard like a deep sense of satisfaction that's going to come after that energy kind of pushes forward. So let's see where this is headed. <laughs> For my Libras, right? Um, the overall shared energy Libra that came out was Taurus energy. I've been getting a lot of Taurus Libra type of vibes. Um, some of you could have that in your chart, be dealing with one. Or this is just simply the energy you're taking on during this time frame. It's about, it's a very earthy, steadfast, productive type of vibe, all right? Uh, it can also be a very sensuous type of vibe, but it's also a very deliberate and tenacious energy. That's what I felt. For some of you, it's not so much aggression, but tenacity. There's a fine line there, but both are kind of driven by the same type of emotion. All right. Let's put it that way. So maybe you've been stuck in your comfort zone for too long, um, or, and, or you could be wanting to start, you know, to start this reading or start this time frame in a more comfortable space. Um, but I feel like the momentum or the energy is building up. All right. As you have the Queen of Pentacles here in your overall energy, which is about staying grounded, staying practical, um, you know, staying down to earth. And I don't know why I heard I got bills to pay. Maybe that's for one or two of you. I mean, we all got bills to pay. But it was just like, uh, it was almost like out of my way. I've got shit to do. Like that type of energy. Excuse my language. Um, coming through. It's just like. It could be a little bit impatient as well. So watch that because Libra, I actually feel you're a pretty patient uh, zodiac sign, but when you're out of balance, right, you can be quite impatient. So I kind of feel like that's a caution. Um, this person's energy is the Six of Pentacles, uh, which is also more Earth energy. So this person is in this um, vibe of generosity or equality or needing to equal things out or needing to be more generous. They might have been drawn to be more generous in the recent past or coming into the now. Um, this is like equal give and take type of energy where I feel like you're you're interested more like on your comfort. I'm not saying that you're not wanting to equally give and take, but I do feel a bit of a closed offness, okay, within the energy. And I feel it coming from your side, but it's a general reading, so you can interchange it if you want. So, recent past uh, for my 
Libras, what's led up to this? We're going to start there, then we're going to go into perception of each other, how you genuinely feel underneath it all, and then um, oops, most likely future outcome. So I have the Seven of Wands here, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Emperor. I feel like um, Libra, there's a sense of kind of blocking things or a person out or needing to do that. Yeah, but in, this, in, in the same respect, this type of energy is kind of blocked out um, from, you know, people being more generous with you than they could have been, Okay. Because I get a sense of like isolation or um, blocking things out. I don't know if you're intentionally doing this. I think you're just trying to keep your state of mind, keep your peace. Um, <laughs> keeping to yourself is what I heard. You might be keeping a lot to yourself and blocking out maybe uh, the emotions of others or not accepting help from others or not just willing to... It's not really willing to let people in your bubble. You know what I'm saying? And um, Libras can certainly be introverted when they need to be. I, I feel like you're coming out of that, though, in this more fierce type of energy that I felt at the beginning of the reading. Because this is all about getting back in tune with your more playful self, your inner child, but also taking the reins of your own life. Getting back into control. Um dominating the energy your presence may be very dominating during this time frame or you could be dealing with a dominating person as I felt there was an issue with like a controlling environment for some of you but um, I feel like you're wanting to break free from that okay that type of energy it's like you almost have to take a time out to give some time back to yourself to give yourself um, that space that you needed so that you could get your tenacity back about you, right? So that you can pop up in the energy, so to speak. Some of you are going to pop off because <laughs> I heard that. But most of you, I feel like it's like a, like a popping up energy, you know? <laughs> so let's see what... <laughs> This person's recent past is the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like this person is um, trying to make some things happen in their life. You know, they might have been stuck for a little while, but I do feel that this person is bouncing out of that energy as well. So if they've been isolated, doing some self-reflection or introverted even... Um, I feel that they're getting ready to go into a more action-oriented state. Um, this person may have been trying to manifest things within the connection or manifest this connection for a few of you, um, but not really having the luck with that or feeling stuck. You know, it could be that they have, if it's not with you, then things that they are wanting to get off of their mind or off of their chest, but really feeling stuck as in how to express that or how to move forward in that. I feel like a sense of like this person needing to self-reflect or being somewhat isolated in the energy. Um, but there's passion here. There's intensity. This person might also have quite the temper on the other side of that. So it's going to be different for each of you. But I definitely feel an intense desire on this person's side. Okay. So let's go into perception. How you see each other. Keep in mind that perception is in the eye of the beholder. So it may be your truth, but it may not be their truth. The sun, the king of wands. Ooh, wow. The page of swords and the knight of wands. So when you see this connection, you know, you feel connected, right? You see this person as someone who is confident, who knows what they want, you know, that has good ideas. Um, that actually you might have a really good time with. This person might be someone that kind of is fun to be around or they may see you that way. They may open up your mind. They may have a very open concept energy about them. Um, on the flip side of that, some of you may feel this person is a bit too driven by their ego or even downright egotistical. Um, you know, and someone who thinks that their ideas are better than everyone else. So I honestly feel like I either have two different groups of you here or you see this person in two very, very different ways. Um, for the most part, I actually feel it leans more towards the positive, but take it as it resonates, right? Uh, because there's a lot of optimism here. 
okay? There's a lot of playful energy here. So let's see this person's perception of you, Libra, King of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, well, I got a ton of cards here. King of Pentacles, the Sun, Swords, Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, and Temperance. So let's take it one card at a time. I feel like this person sees that you're very capable um, of being happy, uh, of being happy with them or connected with them. They they feel like you have, you know, clarity or good ideas as well. Um, they may see you getting attention or stand out from the crowd. Like they definitely see you going through a lot of changes, Libra, with your persona is what I heard. Um, and yet there's some regret here, okay, or a sense of loss. Um and getting all all up in their head or you all up in your head and needing to balance that out. So I feel like in, in one respect, this person sees you as someone who's actually quite capable, successful, um, attractive, if this is intimate, you know, someone who's intelligent. And then on the other side, they see you as someone who may often get down in the dumps or is all stuck up in your head or, you know, a little bit too detached for them. Um, <clears throat> and or some of you did detach from this person and they're, and they're certainly missing you, okay, if you're separated from this person and all in their head about it. So a few different ways I could see that one, Libra. So let's go to the genuine emotion and see what you're feeling underneath it all. That was perception ego. Now we're going to go into your soul, your depth, your feelings. So you want to be released to the confusion, right? Some of you may want to release from the connection. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like emotionally, either way, there's a bit of confusion here as to like, what is the best route for me? You know, and you might have been stuck in that place for a while, Libra, kind of judging yourself or judging this person or you know, needing more emotional support in your life, but not being willing to ask or for some of you, you have emotional support here, but maybe you don't feel that they understand, you know, that type of energy. Um, there is a need to let go of the past, you know, and to fo refocus your energy. So I do feel you spending more time emotionally investing in yourself and a little less time, you know, stuck in the past, but there's support here. Some of you <clears throat> were confused about whether whether to let something go or to reconcile um, either this connection or other another area of your life. But I think <clears throat> during this time frame, what you're emotionally deciding to do is really neither. <laughs> it's almost like kind of just pause and wait in the energy, be a little more patient. You know, you are thinking about other people, you're thinking about the past, you're emotionally maybe spending a little bit too much time in there um, and not expressing enough because all of a sudden my throat chakra is all kinds of crazy. <clears throat> so I feel like, again, there is that energy about, you know, if you need to express yourself, express yourself, right? Um, I think that that will actually kind of help you to move things along. There's emotional support available here for you. But some of you prefer to do it alone, you know, you prefer to figure it out on your own and that's a very air sign thing to do. Air signs are very independent. So I feel emotionally you're kind of sorting it out, you know, uh, yourself. Let's see what this person's genuine emotions are. Justice, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Priestess. Well, they're waiting on you, Libra. Woo! The Eight of Swords. Are they waiting on you in vain? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe. To be determined. This person has you in their heart. You know, they have you in, in their emotions. You know, they want it to be justice. Just us. You know, together. This person is kind of biding their time emotionally, but I feel like 
the patience is not always there, you know. Um, this person could be someone who keeps score in a relationship. You know, I did this for you, so you do this for me. You know, eye for an eye, that type of energy. That could be this person's persona in general. Um, this is kind of similar to the vibes I felt in the Aquarian reading as well. So some of you might have Aquarius in your chart. If so, watch that reading where someone was keeping tabs on the other person, you know, and that could be it as well. But emotionally, <clears throat> this person is waiting, you know, and kind of seeking answers, so trying to find some guidance emotionally, maybe feeling spiritually tied or connected to you. Um, they definitely get in their head about the connection, you know, they, they kind of fear the worst or they let, you know, their fears kind of play into this or insecurities play into um, their their self or their connection and it kind of blocks them but I feel a waiting energy you know or a biting time type of vibe here and um, interestingly enough I got that this person feels that they can read you like an open book um, so this could be someone you know quite well or at least they think that they can read you um, to be determined if that's the truth or not but that's where <laughs> you know, they feel that they can. So, it's an interesting message, right? I just heard you don't know me. So, I don't, I think you would disagree with that. But, hey. <laughs> what are you hoping for? Five of Cups, King of Cups. For, you don't want to feel emotionally drained. You want to feel replenished. You want to feel connected, okay? Some of you are hoping to get rid of like an emotionally draining situation or to just like truly let go um, of some sort of loss, okay, so that you can see your ships come in. But I think you're hoping for, you know, more peace of mind, obviously. Your crown chakra is also being highlighted during this time frame. So you might be getting messages from spirit or um, connecting with your own spirit guides, Um the best way to open up your crown chakra, Libra, is to meditate, you know, first thing in the morning, 15 minutes, um, kind of allow your mind to just rest and relax, and uh, a lot of times the answers will come naturally to you. This person is hoping to get lost, <laughs> you know, um, it's an interesting message. Like, <clears throat> this person is hoping for, like, space or um, to get lost. You may want this person to get lost. That's only for a few of you. I just feel like, because I, I keep hearing the song Wide Open Space is playing in the back of my mind. This person could really like nature or being, like, in isolation. Or that could give them, like, a sense of peace or a sense of calm just in general. And they're kind of hoping to reconnect with that possibly during this time frame. They may want to get lost with you, you know, that type of energy. But let's see. So uh, now we're going to go into most likely future outcome. Keep in mind that all of the future outcomes can be changed with free will. But I'm going to give you a quick snapshot. So three of pentacles, death and rebirth, the lovers, and the hermit. Three major arcana here. So there's definitely, you know, a sense of connection, all right? Um, I feel like you really are doing a lot of internal soul searching, right? And it's like wanting, not wanting to rock the boat, like wanting things to be more comfortable. But I feel this energy of assertion coming in pretty strongly. So, <coughs> <coughs> Some of you really need to assert yourself, you know, because for, as I felt in the beginning of the reading, there was like an aggression or an aggressive type of energy, which could be channeled into tenacity, but it was coming from a place of like letting someone else dictate the energy and or like some sort of suppression going on where it's like building up and building up and building up. So it's like, some of you definitely need to act on something or say something already. Um, and or it's going to come out in maybe an aggressive form during this time frame. So there's a change happening either way. There's a very strong connection here. Soulmate connection, twin flame connection, if you believe in that. 
um, <clears throat> Gemini Virgo energy for some of you where <clears throat> there might be some things changing within that connection that's requiring you to do some soul searching, right? And it's like you're doing soul searching, but you're also doing it like, you know, from the comfort of your couch or in within your comfort zone. But then the momentum is building up and building up underneath the surface is what I feel. And then drastic changes coming in towards the end of this time period. This could be in January or in Gemini season or run from January to Gemini season. But there's definitely <clears throat> a strong connection here coming through. There might have been a lot of miscommunication in that connection, blocked communication, uh, no communication, that type of energy because um, my throat chakra is all over the place. Let's see what this person's most likely future outcome is. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah, this is that eye for an eye type of energy. Like, that could be this person's persona, you know. Um, they keep score too much, or they've been keeping score. Libra. Isn't that funny? I just I just realized keeping score. At the beginning of the guided meditation, I got that you were up to bat. So it's like you might have been playing games with this person or they, you, or it's like a game of back and forth, but it's your turn up to bat during this time frame, Libra. Remember that because that's exactly what I heard is it's my turn, you know. So <clears throat> if you let this person, as a, they're, what they're showing me is like, you know, when, you know, when siblings play video games and like one of the siblings is like, okay, one more try, then it's your turn. And then they play and they lose and they're like, okay, one more try, then it's your turn. Before you know it. Like, uh, they played like 15 rounds and you're still waiting for your turn. <laughs> like that type of vibe, you know, where it's like, you're going to take the dang controller and be like, it's my turn, you know, <laughs> um, spirits got jokes, but you know what I mean? Like energetically, it's like, okay, I'll wait, you know, or taking the sidelines and, and watching others have their turn. And then just being like, no, nah, it's my turn, you know, like that type of vibes. So <laughs> this person has Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, um, the moon. So <clears throat> this person has a new beginning or new opportunity that's available to them. But they might kind of like, I don't know what the term is, spite their nose, despite their face. Like, um, step on their own toes by trying to, like, get back at you or by taking the lower road. Uh, if they take the lower road, because this is future energy and they have the ability to change it, it's going to definitely backfire and put them right back into an emotional space that I think that they've worked really hard to get out of. So it's like, if this person gets impatient in the energy and they do something to uh, be spiteful or to try and push you, Libra, it's going to backfire hardcore in a way of like getting them more emotionally stuck and confused than they already are. So that's like a caution to this person, you know. So there is another opportunity presenting itself after a period, Libra, of you self-reflecting on the connection. But it's almost like this person, you know, kind of kind of <clears throat> sabotages it before you even get a chance to act on it or vice versa. And it's because they were getting like too like overly concerned, like they were jumping the gun. That's what it is, you know, and having a hard time being patient in the energy. And because of that, you know, they may hurt themselves or hurt you. But I feel like it's like a sense of getting in their own way. You know what I'm saying? Um, because there's a new beginning right here, abundance ready to come in for this person. And as opposed to letting it flow in, they kind of let their emotions get the best of them. Maybe some delusions that they have, you know, or confusion get the best of them. And then they're quick to strike or quick to, you know, make some sort of rash action or say something rash or do something rash. And it just totally blocks the energy. So... That's a caution. This person may definitely self-sabotage during this time frame. And uh, you're watching from the sidelines. Like, okay, go ahead and do that. Because when you do that, it's my turn up to bat. You know, or, 
yeah, you know, like you might be quietly white, you may be quietly watching this person from the sidelines. You certainly got an opinion, but maybe you're holding it back for now. But I feel like that's not going to last too much longer, uh, Libra. So this was an intense reading. By all means, clear your throat chakra. Go meditate. Clear it out. <clears throat> all right. And or express yourself, you know, if you need to. But um, certainly it's up to you what you decide is the next best action. Either way, Libra, this was an intense reading, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, a zodiac sign you could be dealing with. I have Pisces here, Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, um, Gemini. Aquarius, possibly another Libra, Aries, Capricorn. Those are the primary zodiac signs I see, but keep in mind it could be any zodiac sign because it is a general reading. Um, so just take it as it resonates. If it did resonate, do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. You can check out my Facebook and Instagram, Tarot Time with Dana, um, for more fun stuff. I do go live there linked below as well as in the about section. I did add a donation feature for those who like who would like to donate to the channel. It's certainly appreciated but never expected. Um, but that's over in the about section as well as the link to my sister's online boutique avasofiaco.com. And if you like my style you can get it for yourself and support a small business. So either way I'm wishing you the very very best and until next time my friends namaste